What up, everybody? Welcome to The Last Days of War cast. We are Southern California-based band, The Last Days of War. I am Rob. I'm Danny. I'm Feats and Beats. Gentlemen, what's first on the agenda? Shots. Cheers. What are you guys drinking? Jack My Daniels. non-alcoholic bud. Sounds a lot better than what I just did. Uh, what gentlemen, how are we doing this week? I'm doing, doing pretty good. good. Looks like uh, we're missing some people this week, huh? We got yeah, everyone we... all together for one episode, and then just, nah, we're good. We don't need everybody. <laughs> uh, we no it's, uh, it's a uh, yeah, it's a who whoever whoever could uh, call in calls in, you know. Who can make it this week? Yeah, this week uh, we are missing Mark and Dustin. Uh, both are handling family stuff, so we wish them well. Good luck. But we got this. You guys will stay entertained tonight, hopefully. If not, yeah, we'll uh, see what we could do. We'll just cut the clips of Josh's OnlyFans. Oh, Jesus. Don't let my wife know about that. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> How do you think we pay for that band room? <laughs> <laughs> Gotta make rent. Uh, so we, we were kind of discussing uh, with all the superhero movies coming out and uh, with Marvel and DC and just so many superheroes being put into movies uh and then like they started doing like guardians of the galaxy and it was like mainstream people didn't know anything about the guardians of the galaxy crew or you know even in the sequels when they started introducing other characters people are like these can't be real characters real superheroes so then it got us to thinking about useless superpowers <laughs> uh <laughs> Kind of along the lines of how South Park did it, but uh, just thinking about if you were given a superhero power, but it was the most useless power, what 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 do you think would be like the most useless superpower we could use? Fucking Captain Napkin, dude. <laughs> Every everything he touches turns into a napkin, dude. You know, so it's like fuck, bro. Thanks. I guarantee you, though, he's getting a sponsorship by Carl's Jr., though. <laughs> if it ain't getting all over the place, Captain Napkin ain't in your face. Fucking uh, Glitter Bomb throws glitter that mildly irritates the uh, bad guy's eyeballs. Just mildly, no, you know? No, but see, this one, this one's a double whammy, because I, I don't think that's where his superpower takes effect. This okay. motherfucker... This guy is the guy who's just like he'll start shit at a bar, right? And you'll be you'll be standing there and just like, dude, fuck this guy. There's something up with this guy. He's just acting like a creep. And then you go to like, hey, dude, I don't like the way you're looking at people, this and that. And he's, and then you got <laughs> glitter all over you. And then you you might fuck him up. You might send him to the hospital or whatever. But then you go home, and then you have to explain where all that fucking glitter <laughs> came fucking from. Glitter came from. <laughs> Dude, you just you're done. Like your wife kills you, and that's how he gets you each time. Like it's it's the gift that keeps on giving, you know. Well, that's just a good glitter. That's a good way into the next one. <clears throat> Excuse me, the awkward silence. Silent <gasps> villains with crippling social awkwardness. Like <laughs> just come home to the, the room. It, it's just dead silent, and then oh shit. I like uh, I like uh, the procrastinator. Uh, you can stop time, but only to like procrastinate on shit that you needed to do that you're never gonna do. And so you stop time, and it's useless. Uh, what about? Uh, shit, hang on, you I know... gotta get to these ring gutters. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going over to the ring gutters. Fuck that. I'm gonna go hang out and smoke a joint. I knew I forgot something. Damn it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, like, uh, like. Uh, there's there's some weird ones, man. Like uh, Squirrel Girl is kind of a weird one for me, you know. Her superpower is that she controls squirrels. I believe that's a Marvel. I think uh, there's several kind of strange ones out there, you know. Oh yeah, I mean, just just Ant Man alone, like shrinking and, and go size of an ant to really fucking huge. It's like well, uh, you you see, you, I know you've seen the boys, right? Oh yeah. Just, just that, just that thought alone is just like, <laughs> yeah. Have you, Josh? Have you checked that out? I've watched the first few episodes of the first season of The Boys, and then we got distracted by life, 
And then as soon as like the second season started, it's like we have to go back to the beginning to, to understand everything oh, yeah. that was going on. But the first five, six seconds of that show, I was dying laughing where Homeboy just runs right fucking through her. And I look over at my wife and she's like almost in tears. Oh my God, that's so sad. And I'm hysterically dying laughing because he's still holding onto her hands and she's just like obliterated. <gasps> ah, what the fuck? And my first thought is, oh my God, that is fucking hilarious. Yeah, that's that's one of those shows that until you get the pace of that, it's it's a little like, oh shit, you know? Oh yeah, especially yeah. with the later seasons where they just like, let's push the envelope a little bit more. Oh yeah, and, the, yeah. Did, did you ever watch the Hunter or Hunters, the one with Hunters uh, with Pacino? Pacino, yeah. I have seen you that watched? One. I want to. It, that one is good, but that's one of those, if you don't watch it from beginning to end, like, you can't skip episodes because every single episode, the story not necessarily jumps, but if you miss one, you don't know what the fuck is going on. It's worth a watch, yeah, though. Like, it's along the same violence. Stories and everything. Yeah. Uh, uh, what about uh, Jubilee? Doesn't she oh. do sparkles or something? I mean, it could be worse, right? Imagine if she had snakes, <laughs> right? No, but Josh, have you have you uh, have you gotten to a scene where a person that gets really small and could get big? Have you been to that part? That's season three. It, okay, sorry. Yeah, no. yeah. So when Rob said they push the envelope, they push the envelope, and it's oh, yeah. when you, yeah, you should go to that and watch that. It's pretty crazy. But but don't the, ruin it. Watch it in order. No, it's no, I'm not, that's why I'm like I'm not going to say it. Yeah. So when you say really small to really big size wise, are we talking like comparison of inner space to Andre the Giant? Uh, well, I mean Ant Man. Have you seen? Okay, uh, I get you. I get you. Okay, Ant Man versus yeah. American Civil War. No, so I have where not. He got all huge, like bigger than an airplane and shit. It, okay, not that big, but just going back from normal size to microscopic almost. Yeah, it just that show pushes the fucking them. So, yeah, um, for sure. Th there's another one on there, but it sounded kind of like a uh, a uh, character from the South Park superhero episode where they did Captain Hindsight. And I believe okay. there's actually a real character named Hindsight Boy or something like that, Hindsight Man. Okay. And he's just got impeccable hindsight. It's like, who gives a fuck? <laughs> like, it does no good. Like, uh, what is it? Kind of like the that traveling site that used Captain Obvious, where he dressed up like a captain of a ship, and he said, "Well, you probably would have saved more money if you booked with this." And it's kind of like um, yeah, Expedia or whatever the hell that was, or some shit like yeah. that. Yeah. So hey. it's kind of like that, like hindsight. Oh, so, so this one, this one's, this one's a Marvel villain, and his name's Ice Cream, and he has the ability to turn himself into any flavor of ice cream. Pralines and dick. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then this is here, uh, friendly fires from uh, DC. Uh, he could shoot bursts of energy from his hands, but unfortunately couldn't control them well, so he often, you know, Ooh, hits his... Up. Yeah, no, well, he, he friendly fires, so he hits other everybody, you know, so... <laughs> it's it's kind of like, well, that's a total shit show, you know? And these are, like, legit superheroes? Yeah, well, I mean, not everyone we've said is legit, but yeah, those, like, uh, Jubilee is real, Squirrel Girl's real, those two that I just mentioned are real. Okay. So there's some, there's some strange ones. I don't like. That's one thing when Rob and I were talking about. He was like, "All you got to do is look at real ones because there's plenty." And I'm like, "Oh no shit." Well, so. have you seen uh, the the Suicide Squad, the second one that they did? No, I have not seen that. Yet. Okay, in that one, they they're it's like they're scrounging for superheroes or something like that. And there's a guy in there. He's like detachable arm man, and his arms detach off, and he can control his arms still stupid <laughs> you're just like that's a superpower how <laughs> hey watch yeah. this uh i told you earlier that that if i could be any useless superpower 
I would like to be the uh, the couch commander, and I could just <laughs> control TV remotes and sit on the couch and hang out. And that's well, it. that would be perfect for music wise for you too. Then you wouldn't even have to leave the couch, and you could still work on recording tracks and everything, and just get to go hang out. Yeah, just you could control TV remotes. That's it. Got your wireless Imagine having like a superpower of like a jukebox hero, where you could just skip songs on a jukebox. You go to the bar and piss everybody off. <laughs> just skip everybody's songs. <laughs> like, screw you. Or rewind it. Keep playing yours. Or the ability to have the song change in your head, whatever the hell's playing. So even though they hear that, you can change it yourself. So then it just for as long as the duration of that song is, you hear whatever the hell you want in your head. And then as soon as that song's over with, you're back in the conversation. I, I got the worst superpower. You ready? What? <laughs> Captain Smash Mouth. All of a sudden, I could just go, and then uh, that's all you hear is just Smash Mouth All Star over and over in your head. Well, wouldn't you that be like a benefit for you, though? <laughs> no, I don't hear it. You would hear it. <laughs> oh, okay, 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 okay. Yeah, no, no. Hey, no. You rock for. Oh, fuck. What's going on again? Uh, squirrel girl. Uh, you you said she she has the ability to what control the squirrels or just call she squirrels, has, talk to them she, or what? I, I believe it's the ability to control squirrels. So yeah, I don't know but, how many she could do at a time. I'm not really sure, but I mean, I think that kind of gets us into the next thing, doesn't it? Oh yeah. So like, so like, if she could control two squirrels or three squirrels, is that like? What can you do with that? But what if she could control like 3,000 squirrels, right? Is she dangerous then? They're getting my Fuck nuts. Yeah. 3,000 squirrels, <laughs> they're getting my nuts. The, the fight's over. I'm sorry. Do, do, you, do you get to wear a cup? Yeah, that would be my question. Is there protection <laughs> if it's involved with this weirdness of animals? Like a squirrel, they're going after the nuts. 3,000 squirrels going after your nuts would be pretty scary. So, so it would take, uh, how many squirrels would it take? Like, how many animals of what would it take to take you down? I don't know, man. If one squirrel got in my pants, I'd pretty much freak the fuck out. <laughs> I mean, I'd probably beat the shit out of myself just trying to sock the motherfucker in my pants. Just like, because of my neighborhood, no. Just hitting myself. Like, we have two squirrels that live in our backyard, and, like, they're not afraid of people or of our animals. So I think I could take maybe anywhere from five to ten. Just to be safe, 10 squirrels tops. I don't know, man. They bite you. It's going to hurt like hell. Do we have a rabies shot or no? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I, yeah. As we're going in prepared with shots and protection. Uh, I don't know. Okay. Maybe 12. Oh, okay. What if you could wear protective gloves only? Just protective gloves. Oh. Then you could actually grab the squirrel and you wouldn't have to worry about it if it bit you in the hand. Does that make it fair? Okay. <laughs> but are, what what kind of fight gear are we in? Are we in like uh, WWE where it's just like underwear trunks and knee pads? Fucking ML, MLB catcher's gear. <laughs> See, you call it. Nope. <laughs> okay. I'm dressed like a <laughs> NHL hockey goal. So you wearing the skates? <laughs> oh, oh yeah, yeah, real effective. I'm just going to start stepping on all the squirrels if that's the case. And there's no rules, right? Kick a motherfucking squirrel with skates. <laughs> that was my whole point of the squirrels okay. anyway. Like, okay. you can grab yeah, them and punk kick them, so. Okay, but would it would it change if you change the animal based off the environment? So, like, if you were to do, I don't know, a sea creature, how many, how many would you fight? Would you be fully submersed in water? Would you be able to touch, you know? So I think fighting in the water is a different ballgame, dude, you know? Yeah, well, I think I it's... I, you I, mean, know, I just don't think you have a whole lot of strength when you try to throw a punch underwater. You know, I mean, they say like, they say to like, like if a shark comes at you to like, you know, like to push it away with the top of your hand, or like even punch it. But like, or if dude, you're like, a Karen, uh, just ask to see its manager. <laughs> <laughs> I hear that works. It works. Excuse me, you're being rude, shark. Where's your manager? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, let me go get them real quick. Um, yeah, how, about, I... how about five feet of water? 
five feet of water. Uh, like, how many how many penguins do you think you could fight? I think I think you could do a few until too many of them would start like you know dogpiling on you. Yeah, but what what would the I don't know. Like that's kind of like always weirded me out about the penguin from Batman. It's like, well, what what's your superpower? Like, how is that just scary? You know? Oh, I don't know if he really. I don't know if he really did. He really have one? I mean, it depends. On, no, not really. I mean, no. he was just kind of like a birdly looking dude, the uh, waddle, right? He could yeah. eat raw fish. That was it. Yeah, pretty, that's that's a horrible superpower in itself. <laughs> Unless you go for sushi, yeah. <laughs> it's like Batman had a thing against pescatarians or something. Um, I think I'm taking on ten, twenty penguins. Yeah, I think that's I think that's a good amount of penguins we could take on in a fight. Uh, How about sharks? How many sharks do you think you could fight? <clears throat> Let's make it fair. Hammerhead shark. So you, it doesn't see right in front of you. The eyes are to the side. I don't want to fuck. Yeah, but that, that's also the same with a horse, and a horse would fuck us up. Oh, I'm not going with against any horses. I'm sorry. I've been bit by a horse before. <laughs> uh, I wouldn't go against the shark either. But yeah, I've been are. bit by one here of those, and I don't know if I need to. Uh, hammerheads. And, and it's weird because I like both of them. Uh, we could change it to dolphins. No, God, no. God no! <laughs> oh, I can't say that. Sorry, <laughs> we'll have to cut that part out. We'll, we'll edit that out. You're all good. You're all good. <laughs> we didn't say anything. <laughs> some app is not gonna like us for saying that. Dolphin love. Feeding dolphins some grapes. Uh, sharks. Uh, maybe one. Okay. Because after after I beat the one, I'm not going back in the water. Yeah, I, I'm. I'm probably never going back in the water again after that. Yeah, I think if I survive, it'll be one because I'm out. You know, you you'd be lucky to find me in a pool filled with piss. Like go into any hotel pool or pool party, it's like nope, might be a shark in that drain. Not doing <laughs> okay. Um, we did seagulls. land, we did sea. How about air? Fucking seagulls. Oh. They're fucking nasty, right? I'll punch a seagull. Oh yeah, I got, I got yeah, nothing wrong think, with that. I think, at that. I think at that point you're more worried about getting shit all over, right? Because they aren't they one of the few birds that can actually shit while flying. Um, that is correct. Yes. Then especially if you go to have a meal, I think that's how what's going to kick off the fight is you pull out like a sandwich or something like that. Well, your sandwiches, they're going for it, yeah. So then you're just boxing birds in the air. Uh, I'd, I'd probably give a good 50 for a good run. You know? you and 50 Sounds... seagulls. I would love to see this. <laughs> Take me to Huntington <laughs> Beach right now. Uh, <laughs> With like a package of like... Wop and fucking seagulls. <laughs> An open <laughs> bag of potato chips and just let them fucking just go. Let them go, you. yeah. Just let them go. <laughs> How about I just roll myself into some chips and get chips all over my body and then just start swinging on anyone that makes contact with no, just God, we're fucking gonna have, we are gonna bread have and rock like, coming fucking up. the ASPCA all over us for this episode. You guys are Didn't talking they, about fighting. Wasn't that inside like a Disney movie, The Big Green? Didn't the kids like cover themselves in Cheetos and then all the birds came down and started attacking them and the mom freaked out or some shit? I thought that was in a Disney movie. Maybe. I don't remember that one. Maybe. I thought that was, yeah. I thought it was like the substitute teacher, like, or the new teacher came in and like they're all pissed off, like, "Hey, lady, we were getting the uh, the birds to come all over us because we have like nothing exciting in our neighborhood." So they dump themselves full of food so the birds will pay attention to them. That's their fun. I think it's called the Big Green. Hmm. Never mind. Is it, is it a cartoon? No, it's a Disney movie. Like an actual actual movie? Yeah, I think it was with the kids. Like they're a soccer team from like Texas or something, and their mascot was a goat. Hmm. A goat. You ain't got no kids. Don't worry about it, man. That's how sad my life is. Hey, how many goats? 
How many goats? Oh, how many goats can we take in a fight? Two goats. I'm afraid of goats. You ever seen the game Goat Simulator? Yeah, it was the Big Green. There's a scene called Feeding the Birds. So yeah, it was the Big Green. Big Green. I don't, I don't think. I... I think it was like in the '90s or something like that. It's an old movie. Huh. Who's in it? Who's in it? A goat. Give me my producer. Let's go. Oh my goodness. You're fucking up here. This is live. Steve. Steve Gutenberg, Police Academy. Patrick. Oh. Patrick Renna. Um, the dude who played Ham from The Sandlot. Oh, okay. He's the goalie in the, there. That's the guy that Mark ran into, right? Yeah, exact same yeah. dude. Mark would have known this. Mark would have known all this. Uh, sorry we <laughs> brought this up this week. <laughs> He probably would have been like, oh, yeah, I know exactly what that is. He's, he's probably listening to the episode just being like, fuck, I should have been there. And now I got to just grill these guys. Next. Well, we're doing our best. It's like we're doing I our do best. Like every fucking week, just like, oh, wait, wait, why did I drop out last week? Damn it. Hey, so, uh, Josh, I don't know. Did you uh, hear anything about the new Fallout series? Oh. Uh, the TV show? Yeah. Have you watched any of it? No, I wanted to because my son was interested in watching it. I know there's already a few episodes out. I was going to ask you how, like, how gore fight are we bad. going? Okay. I was going to ask yeah, because, like, so he's... I, I mean... sat down with Jessica and was like, I would love to have the kids watch it, but the word gore was used, but then visceral gore was used. And I was like, okay, Yo. I understand. They're going to, we're blowing up and we're blowing heads off. And yeah, so it's, it's gory. Yeah. Okay, but it's really good. I've seen the. Oh, I've only seen the first episode, so I think Rob, you've seen more, right? Yeah, I'm. I'm like five or six episodes in right now. Okay, yeah. I was going to say so I think I've there's like six the... episodes. Uh, there's yeah. eight, I believe. Eight. Um, and I've like I said, I've seen the first one, and uh, man, it was it was pretty cool. I liked it. It was it was good. I'm, okay. uh, I'm excited to see the rest of it. I would I would say with the show The Last of Us kind of made every video game adaptation have to be that much right. better. Like I know you guys talked a couple weeks ago about um, Borderlands making a movie coming out. It's got Jamie Lee Curtis, Jack Black, uh, Kevin Hart for some reason, and I I couldn't understand that booking, but I, I'm sure it's gonna be great. Um, but there's just this bar that's been set. I mean, because back when we were kids, we had what Super Mario Brothers, uh, Double Dragon, Street Fighter, Mortal Kombat, and they were just like, here, here you go. And they kind of like slowly, but then they just diminished after that, you know? And it didn't really have to do with the video game. And you're kind of like, what? Like Resident Evil, for example. Okay. Resident Evil just went like, hey, we're just going to make our own little zombie movie and do whatever the fuck we want. And you're like, well, that that's not really the game. And they try to like, oh, well, we'll put more stuff from the game in it. And then by like the last movie, you're like, what the fuck is going on? It has nothing stuff. to do with the actual story. Well, yeah. And then you just realize it's the director just putting his wife in a movie just to, so she could be in a movie. It's like, just make the sixth element. I'm like, I don't know. Put her, put her in something that people really want to see, not this fucking stupid ass Resident Evil shit. Have but you seen the spinoff of it? What? The Resident Evil continuation is like monsters or something, where she's playing the same character hunting stuff in the desert. Well, yeah, isn't that? It's still her husband directing the movies. Yeah, yeah. but and it's just like, come on, stop doing this shit. But then they ended up doing uh, a Resident Evil reboot. So they rebooted the whole thing and made it more like the video game, which is a little better. But at that did point, you watch it's the, like, uh, did you watch the Netflix series they did? Yeah, that one. See, like I said, it, it kind of raised the bar over time because that one was just like, oh, no, nope, we can't do it. Uh, Silent Hill. That was a good one. I liked it. I enjoyed that one. I thought that was still true to the video game ish. Yeah, uh, but there's it. I don't know. I I think Fallout is doing good. Uh, I enjoy it, and I 
I think where they capitalize on is Fallout has the the console play, and then they also have the uh, cell phone game where you play like you're in the Fallout shelter. And so they kind of encapsulated both of those perspectives of living in the shelter and going outside the shelter and playing like the video games do. So I, okay. I think it's really cool the way the show is built like that. Uh, yeah. And then they're also they're also coming out with a with a pretty big like update overhaul of Fallout Four. So it's I think the game's ten years old, and uh, they're I think they're updating all the graphics. NPCs are getting an update. Like a lot of shit's coming in it. So uh, that's gonna be cool. What's weird about that is because they have Fallout seventy six, which is even a newer game, but over the years they've updated that one a whole bunch. So hmm. it's kind of cool because. I was planning on playing Fallout 76 over, but now I'm going to do Fallout no. 4 first, and then I'll do 76 again, you know? So, mm. yeah. Uh, real quick, we're going to change the subject real quick since we're getting low on time. Uh, this weekend, special day? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, I imagine you guys are celebrating. Uh and of course, we're talking about the release of our new single, Fine, I'll Do It Myself, which drops on all streaming platforms this coming Saturday. It's more like 9 p.m. Uh, Pacific time on Friday, <laughs> right? Comes out yeah. Yeah. East Coast, midnight, West Coast, 9 p.m. Um, but please check out our new song. Uh, we made Josh go for a run in this song so hopefully you metalheads will enjoy it um that is him playing on the track and he can do the feats don't worry he'll keep up <laughs> we're gonna make sure he stays on a treadmill yeah it's gonna be uh, a little bit heavier now yeah it's a, it's a little heavier than reach <laughs> but this one's this one's more for the uh the aggressive fan i i guess you could say we we kind of flip flop and do one more for like the the emotional aspect of the band than more of the aggressive aspect. I mean, I guess they're both emotions, but um, yeah. So we got the single dropping this weekend. Let us know what you think in the comments below. Anything else, gents? Um, yeah. Before we go, we also I want to say thanks to Mike Z for actually playing that track this past Saturday for us. Uh, ahead of schedule, so if you guys were listening uh, this past weekend, Saturday night, early Sunday morning, you got a chance to actually hear the track before its release date. Uh, so thank you again, Mike Z, for always playing us, and we appreciate it. And hopefully we'll be able to get him back on the show again soon. Yeah, that'd be Ooh. awesome. Maybe uh, put us on one of them KKLK. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> hopefully. Let's do it. All right, well, gents... This has been a wonderful episode of The Last Days of Warcast. Uh, be sure to like, subscribe, follow. If you like what we're doing, please check out our band, The Last Days of War. Uh, gents, anything else you want to say before we leave? Nah, have a good one. See you next time. Uh, I'm pretty good. Don't forget about that release this weekend. Please check it out. Uh, smoke weed every day. Plays one for the nation. Mahalo. Later.